Hi, Ken Boyer with Heavy D Garage Gurus. Today we're going to talk about air disc brake maintenance and inspection. The first thing I want to talk about is the air hose. Make sure the air hose is clean, it's not cracked or broke anywhere, and make sure that your fittings are in good shape. The next thing I want to talk about is the brake chamber. You need to make sure that the brake chamber is tight to the caliper. Uh, you don't want any contamination to get in between the caliper and the brake chamber, otherwise it'll affect the way the brakes adjust themselves. So make sure that that brake chamber is tight and torqued to the brake caliper. The next thing you want to check are the caps on the back of the guide pins. You've got two guide pins, two caps. Make sure that they're in place. If they're not, you may not be able to move the caliper back and forth like this. Now this one moves freely, so that tells me that the caliper is okay, that the guide pins are okay. But you just want to make sure that those caps are in place. Now we have a wheel off demonstration here, so I can see the brake pads. But if we had a wheel on, the next thing I want to check is your wear indicators, your pad wear indicators. They're right here cast into the carrier and cast into the caliper. If these two marks are lined up, the pads need to be replaced. Now I can see the pads from here and I can see that they're wearing fairly evenly. I know that, I know that also by the fact that the caliper moves. But you also want to take a look at the rotor too. The rotor has wear indicators on each side of it. If the indicators are gone, then you want to probably have to either turn that rotor or replace it. But make sure you check with the manufacturer because not all rotors are turnable. And lastly, the thing all you got to check is just make sure all the hardware is there. You got your brake pad retainer, you got your pin, your washer, and your clip. Just make sure all those components are in place and in good condition. And that should complete your air disc brake inspection. For more tech tips like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.